Thank you for giving me the speech. Greetings for everyone. Before starting, I'm Dr. Elian Mikkelsen Ranivarsu. I'm specialized at internal medicine and I work as an assistant doctor of nephrology in nephrology service and hemodialysis center at Bevilatana Teaching Hospital. So this is a great pleasure for our team to participate in this world seminar on nephrology. Today, we'd like to share to you one study concerning the prevalence of chronic kidney disease in Madagascar. This work is a fruit of collaboration between different persons with the support of Care France Association. Here is the list of the authors and their service. All authors declare to have any conflict of interest. As we know, the prevalence of chronic kidney disease doesn't stop to increase and it constitutes a major public health problem, mainly in developing countries. And in Africa, and most of people are seen lately with end-state renal disease. They are admitted at hospital with a very low glomerular filtration rate requiring the starting of hemodialysis in emergency. There is a, there is a high rate of mortality, certainly due to, to the inaccessibility of treatment. This both situation may also due to the lack of screening and the delay of management. And in Madagascar, according to a recent study, chronic kidney disease concerned about 14% of hospitalization in nephrology and internal medicine department but we don't have a national registration concerning the, pre the prevalence of kidney disease. So that is why we have conducted this study in order to evaluate the frequency of chronic kidney disease from a national survey. And secondly, our aim is to determine the factor associated with chronic kidney disease. This is a randomized cross-sectional and analytical study, it was conducted in multiple centers and its duration was three years. As method of sampling, sampling was done with cluster method. Madagascar is divided into six provinces and in each province it it is divided into many quarters. We consider each quarter as one group and in each group we randomize seven persons. This is a national survey which was done in Antananarive, Tuliar, Mahadzang, Tamatav provinces. The target population was a resident Malagasy people and we include in this study a people aged over 18 years old and who accept to be screened after an oral consentment. We exclude in this study all incomplete data or the presence of an acute affection. As a protocol of a survey, we use two different sheets, a sheet of survey and a sheet for therapeutic education. The sheet of survey contains four party. First of all, general information concerning the people to screen, then the medical information, then the result of clinical and biological exam and the conclusion. During the survey, we asked the familiar and personal history of high blood pressure and diabetes. We take measurement of blood pressure, the weight, the cells. We calculated body mass index and we check the capillary creatinine and glycemi uh, the glycemia uh, with a strip test. In case of CKD, we oriented the patient to nephrology service for medical following up. Then, after the, after the survey, uh, we um, share another sheet, which is the sheet for therapeutic education. It talks about the definition, the cause, the signs, the complication of chronic kidney disease, and we gave it systematically for every screen person. It contains also the action to prevent chronic kidney disease. It was like an individual therapeutic education. All data was registered in paper and in a computer, and the duration of a survey was about 20 minutes per person. As parameter, 
we retain sociodemographic parameter, including gender, age, social class level. We uh, define uh, social class level according to monthly income, activity. We retain also clinical and biological parameters as personal and family background of hypertension and diabetes, blood pressure, weight, size, body mass index, capillary blood sugar, capillary creatinine, estimated glomerular filtration rate was calculated with CKD AP formula. As definition, chronic kidney disease was defined as a decrease of a estimated glomerular filtration rate less than 60 milliliters per minute per 1.73 meter square of body surface without an acute affection. Diabetes was defined as random blood sugar more than two grams per liter or every person who declared to be a diabetic person, treat or not, with or without an observed therapeutic glycemia. Activity was defined as every people age between 18 and 60 is old who is able to work with or without profession. Hypertension, hypertension was defined as an elevation of the blood pressure in the free measurement more than 140 19 millimeter of mercury or every person who declared to have high blood pressure, treat or not, with or without an observed therapeutic arterial pressure level. During this study, whose classification was used to evaluate the body mass index, this slide shows to you the paper that we used during the survey. The first paper in the right side is the, uh, the sheet of a, of a survey. It contains the general information, the medical information, the clinical and biological exam, and conclusion of a survey. And the second sheet contains the explanation of chronic kidney disease written in Malagasy version and the action for prevention. This study was allowed by all different authorities and national scientific committees. And during this study, we use Tata software for statistical analysis. As a result, in total, 1,018 Malagasy people were written in this study, and the global prevalence of CKD was 15.91%. This file summarized the frequency of chronic kidney disease according to each province, and it concludes that there is a disparity of the frequency of CKD in Madagascar. In the East part, the prevalence of CKD was 19.75% in both provinces of Fianarantsu and Tuamas. In Mahatsang, it concerned about 12% of people, and in the South party, it means in Tulia, the prevalence is very, very high, and it concerned about 37% of cases. And finally, in the capital, the prevalence of chronic kidney, kidney disease was very low compared to another province, it means 10%. According to age, mean age in studied population was 42 years old, and when we compare the two groups, non-CKD population was younger than CKD population. This difference was that statistically significant. This figure summarized the repetition of studied population according to age. People aged between 25 and 49 years old were predominant. It represents 44% of non-CKD group and 3.4% of CKD group. Concerning the gender, sex ratio was 1.2, with a predominant significance of female gender in both two groups. According to social class, 
there was a significant difference between two groups. Middle social class were predominant, respectively, in 10% and 54% in CKD and the non-CKD population. Now, concerning the activity, it represents 11% and 53% of cases respectively in CKD and non-CKD group. Now, this file summarizes the repetition of a studied population according to body mass index. Generally, in 48% of cases, people are seen in normal weight. Obesity concerns only 3% of uh, cases in CKD uh, population. This table concludes the characteristic of a studied population according to personal history of hypertension and diabetes. In CKD group, personal history of hypertension and diabetes were found respectively in 35% and 46% of cases with a significant difference. Mean systolic blood pressure was significantly higher in CKD group compared to non-CKD group, and mean glycemia between both groups are similar. Now, concerning the creatinine level, mean creatinine level in CKD patient was 166 micromol per liter. It was 87 in uh, general population, and mean glomerular filtration rate during uh, CKD was 46 milliliter, milliliter per minute per 1.73 meter square of body surface in uh, CKD uh, population. This file shows the repetition of a studied population according to category classification. In general population, stage 4 and 5 of CKD represent around 4% of cases, but when we apply our own definition, they represent about 26% of screen CKD patients. After statistical analysis, CKD was related with age over 50 years old, personal history of hypertension, and upper social class. What can we discuss about? First of all, concerning the prevalence of CKD, there is a great disparity of prevalence across the world. Here, this file shows as the ERA EDTA report in 2016. 17. According to this report, prevalence of CKD is different even in the same Europe country. It concerns only less than 100 per million population in Russia and Finland, and in France, the prevalence was between 150 and 199 per million population. While the prevalence is very high in some countries of Europe as Portugal and Slovakia, and it was uh, over 200 per million population. I take advantage to show to you another result of ERA EDTA report. These figures detail the incidence of CKD in, in Europe country and one Africa country, which is Tunisia in Sfax region. According to this report, incidence of CKD in Africa is very high compared to uh, Europe uh, to countries. In Africa, there is no available region data, but according to recent meta-analysis, which analyze uh, 98 African studies, global prevalence in Africa was about 15% of cases, similar result compared to our study. Prevalence is very low in the north of Africa, and it is very high in the West party. This heterogeneity of result may due to the lack of regional register in Africa population. In addition, published studies are our local report and the methodology are different from each other, each offers. And finally, studied population are also different. 
Concerning the factor associated with CKD, hypertension and diabetes are common cause and risk factor of CKD. In Africa, in addition of this common factor, infectious disease like bilharzia, tuberculosis, infection of HIV are also proven to be a, f a risk factor associated with uh, chronic kidney disease. In this study, we found age, hypertension, and upper social class. Before ending, chronic kidney disease patients were seen in stage 4 and 5 of KDGO in 3% in general population and 26% 26 in CKD population. Let admission of CKD patient is common mainly in developing countries. According to a recent study in Madagascar, patients are seen lately with end-stage renal disease in 81% of cases, and during their first hospitalization, they require the starting of chronic hemodialysis. In Nigeria, end-stage renal disease concerns about 50% of cases. The inaccessibility of primary care, the lack of an early screening, the lack of medical doctor and hospital, the lack of national program for preventing chronic disease as high blood pressure, diabetes, may explain this situation. While in developed countries, instead renal disease concern few patients, in USA it was 8%, in Europe 4%, and in Korea, 5%. Positive, uh, point, uh, the positive point of this study is that uh, it is the first uh, randomized study uh, in Madagascar, maybe in Africa, which screened CKD by using strip tests uh, of creatinine in general population. And uh, the negative points are uh, the absent Absence of the second control of creatinine confirming uh, the chronicity of kidney disease and the absence of the other uh, exploration uh, like uh, the urinary examination, the imagery exploration, or renal biopsy. At uh, to uh, conclude, at the, uh, at the end of this study, we can say that uh, uh, chronic kidney disease is very high. The prevalence is very high in Madagascar. And uh, there is also a high frequency of end-stage renal disease. It was driven essentially by the CAMES risk factor. And uh, we suggest an early screening of hypertension and diabetes uh, which are the common cause of CKD. Uh, we suggest also the medical following up for all patients who are at risk of CKD. Uh, we suggest a national program for treating and essentially for preventing kidney disease and uh, building a regional data for Africa region. Uh, at the end of this presentation, we'd like uh, to give a special thanks to uh, the promoter of, the, of this study, who, who are uh, the Professor Ziad Massi, the Dr. Michel Kia. We'd like to give special thanks also to Care France Association Label and uh, the director of this uh, study, who is the Professor Willy Rangiamarti. For any further question, uh, here is my email address and my contact number. Don't hesitate to, to ask me. That ends my presentation. Thank you for listening to me.